sometimes you're holding the one specimen that exists in the world of this species. Uh, that's a pretty incredible thing. Extinction was shot entirely in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, one of the most important natural history collections in the world. Really what the images are designed to do is get you interested, like, whoa, what's that? You can see Komodo dragons, you can see hawksbill turtles, you can see Mexican gray wolves, you can see thylacine, which is a, an extinct species in Australia and Tasmania. And then you get to the text and you read, and read these stories, and what you're really reading about is the reason for the loss of biodiversity. It's pretty cool having a set of keys and a security badge going down the corridors in this huge collection. You open a drawer, you open a cabinet, and you just have a huge number of, say, birds like ivory-billed woodpecker, which is a really famous extinction um, in, in the U.S. And another example is a passenger pigeon. So we know that the last passenger pigeon died in 1914. Um, and over the course of the previous 30 years, we had the capability to kill off an entire population that numbered in the billions, literally, in the eastern half of the United States. And you open a drawer with all these passenger pigeons and you think, whoa, this is it. This is, that's, this is the only place I can see this species anymore. And that really moved me. And there's a lot of different specimens of hawksbill turtle in there, skulls and, and shells and things. Uh, but there was one box with uh, just bones, bones from, they look like hands. Um, uh, and for me, one of the things that creates a lot of visual tension in, in this image is like one of, the, one of the bones is just completely broken to the side. The arrangement's quite beautiful and it's designed to catch your eye. There's something quite painful about the image. I really like the photograph I took of uh, the snail darter, which was a small freshwater stream fish in Tennessee. And this fish was responsible for uh, stopping the construction of a dam. Uh, and basically it was the first species that actually tested the U.S. Endangered Species Act. It all went to court and Congress said, no, a, a minnow isn't going to stop the construction of this dam. And in fact, they relocated as many as they could to other streams, and the dam did get built. But the, as the first test of the Endangered Species Act, the snail darter occupies a particular sort of place in American environmental history. I've had a lot of people look at the images and, and say that it makes them sad. Th this project started for me less out of a sense of sadness than outrage. You know, enough is enough. Let's, uh, let, let's do something about these problems, these drivers of biodiversity loss. This project is an exercise in hope, because really, what other choice do we have? I had a lot of time while I was shooting to think about th this kind of compulsion we have as a species to label and, 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 and collect. What, what other species does this? And we do this in in the name of, of learning and finding out more about other forms of life on Earth. And now here I am, kind of collecting it in a different way for the book, you know, taking a photograph of it. The Extinction Project is an attempt to understand the, the damage that we've done and that we're doing to all other species on the planet and ultimately to ourselves.